With the back, we can use any existing SketchUp component saved in our library. We can open them with the component tool of the back. Choose one from our folder, and this component will be displayed in 2D in our floor plan. If you want to learn how to edit the 2D representation of the components in the back, you can watch our video tutorial about this topic. You can find the link of this tutorial in the video description below. After placing the first component, I can click on the component tool icon again to select another one. I can place it anywhere in the floor plan, but note that the components inserted with this tool will not interact with the wall, therefore they will not create a trim. After placing this group of components, I can select them all together and move them to a better position if I want to. Ok, now I'm gonna select another component to design a simple bathroom. I click on the component tool icon, select my shower and place it in this corner. I'm gonna choose a bathroom sink. I open it and if you notice I can take this component next to the wall and if I click control it will change its orientation. Once I get my desired orientation I can place it in this wall. After seeing how to insert the components with the back, I'm going to speed up this process to make it a little bit shorter. If I want to change the elevation of a component when the floor plan is converted to 3D, I have to establish this value before I insert the component. So now I can type directly 0 0.45 and press enter. Now I can insert it. This way, when the floor plan is converted to 3D, my lamp will be, will be on the table that has a height of 45 centimeters. Alright, I have already finished to insert all the components in the floor plan. Now I can convert the model to 3D and see the results. After a few seconds we get our floor plan converted to 3D. We can see that all of the components have been introduced in its location, the lamp at a correct elevation and all the textures are perfectly inserted in the components. We can of course make a small tweaks like rotation or even moving our components in 3D and those changes will be also applied when the model is converted back to 2D.